Well, hello, Stampers. Good morning. It is uh, Tuesday, and that means it's time for the weekly YouTube video featuring my Parcels in the Post. So Parcels in the Post is a package that I create that has coordinating um, paper, pattern paper, and then cardstock that picks up the colors in the pattern paper, a few yards of matching ribbon, and some gems, and in this case there's some really pretty iridescent snowflakes. You can order this package through me and it will get sent in the mail, or you can pick it up on the porch in Chatham, Ontario, if that's where you live. Um, it's also available in Europe. Message me if you're interested, and the links will also be in the description of my video. So today we're making a spinning tower card. It sounds pretty awesome, and it is. It's a really fun card, and it's really not that difficult to make if you do it step by step. I'm so glad you joined me. Let's take a look. So here I have all my pieces. Um, we start with the center tower base. That's four and a quarter by four and a half. And then the four and a half inch side, we're going to score at one, two, three, and four inches. Then we have two pieces of cardstock, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. Um, I've chosen to emboss two pieces, um, two and a quarter, two and a half by four. You could also use pattern paper if you don't want to do it that way. We have four pieces of pattern paper that are one and a half by four inches, and we have two pieces that are two and a half by four inches. Now, don't let this overwhelm you. I just thought I would lay it all out there. I'm just gonna move it aside, and then we can get started. It's much easier when I have all the pieces cut and ready, and you don't have to um, you know, be bored by all that. I even cut out a few pieces from the pattern paper. Take a peek at how cute this is and I've stamped a few things. So this is all from the pattern paper and this piece you can see was cut from the bottom edge. You can use those pieces as well. And then for all those cute little dies, I used the Ornate Frames dies. And let's just have a look at them. And I double checked to make sure they were still available. There's lots of cute ones in here and they layer together and I think, yes, so those two layer on here and then those layer in there. Um, this one layers in here. Um, I didn't even realize how interchangeable all these pieces were. So that's one of the things I used. And then the other thing I've used is these two pieces. And they are from the scallops and contours dies. Okay. Now I have not actually finished this card so I don't have one quite like it. I will show you which one I do have that's made. I'll move all this out of the way. Oh yeah, here's the other pieces. So I'm going to use these in soft sea foam somehow. Okay. Now here is my finished card. And this was a Christmas card. So the card I'm going to make today is not going to be a Christmas card. This card also does not fit in a standard envelope. So the card I'm making today does. So you can see how cute this is. Absolutely adorable with pieces cut from the pattern paper. I'll show you a few of the sheets that I have here. I cleaned the rest up. And if you go back to a video I did last week, it shows you all the pieces in parcels in the post. So here, I've cut the little penguin out of here and the snowman, and there's also the fox. Super cute. Um, here they are again, but different. A bigger bear. A, a fox in a different pose and a bigger penguin and then here we have them again with different colored accessories and this penguin also punches out with the penguin punch okay but you have to wait till July or June before you can get that punch again it was in the holiday mini and now it's gone so are we ready to get started take one last peek at this cutie and we'll see so the card base today is misty moonlight so I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. Where did I put that? Here we are. So we have to make sure that you're on the four and a half inch side here. So yeah, that's four and a half inches. So we're going to score at one inch. And I could score on the one inch side on this side too, but it just confuses things. So I'm just gonna do it all on the same side. And the scoring blade is the light gray one. So I've got it at one inch here. One inch is one, two, three, four. Two inches. Oh shoot, I just cut. Ah, you heard that, didn't you? Did you hear that? That's what happens when you use the 
the dark blade. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, you know what? I will save this for something else. I'm not going to make this work. I probably could, but I'm going to find another piece. You heard that, right? I don't think I said a bad word. Okay, so I'm just going to a new sheet here. We're going to go at four and a quarter. And that's the cutting blade. You know that sound. Four and a quarter by four and a half. Sometimes, you know, you could take the blade right off and then that won't happen. Let's tuck it up there. And you know what? This time I am going to go on this side for the one inch. One inch. Okay, gray blade. One inch. And then we're going to go... Just when I was saying how easy it was, two inches, <laughs> crazy, isn't it? Three inches and four inches. And now while I have this straight like this, I am going to put a piece of tear and tape right on that one skinny piece. Okay. There. And now we're going to use the bone folder and just score on all the lines. So this piece forms the tower part, the column that all the other cards are attached to. Okay, so we have that nice. And now I'm just going to fold it in half like this, and then it will it will glue on here. Okay, let's give it one more score. Yes, I, if, you know, if you think about all the paper that you um, waste sometimes with bad cuts, it can add up. So we'll just lay it flat, and there we go. So now we have our tower, like so. That's going to be the, the top. And now we're going to start putting the pieces on. So we have four what I call the wings, okay? And we're going to put them on. And I'm not sure, that, as long as you consistently do it the same way. So I'm going to put some liquid adhesive right on the tower. There we go. And I always say I, I'm going to decorate them first and then I don't do it. And now this piece goes right up to the score line, but not over top. And you know what? I am going to decorate this while I can. So two of them are going to have pattern paper. So I'm going to put some pattern paper on this one. I love this paper. It's so, so cute. And you can't get it anymore. So unless you got a hoard of it, it was celebration paper back in August and September. And I purposely gathered a bunch of it up because I knew I wanted to do a special class with it. So if you have some, that's great. I can inspire you to use it up. If you don't, you can get my parcels in the post. Okay, so now I'm going to... Oh, I put it on the... Oh, yeah. Oops. Well, that one's already done. Can you, can you believe that? What was I doing? This piece is going to go on here. Now I have the other piece ready, too. Listen to me, Yammer On. Do you talk to yourself when you stamp? Oh, my goodness. I was not expecting a phone call. There. Sorry about that. That was Gerard, and he doesn't know that I'm videoing right now. So, yeah. I should have turned my phone to do not disturb. Oh, he's not giving up. So, you know what? No, I, I'm not going to pause the recording either. Hopefully he gets it. And if not... Okay, so now these last two pieces are going to have a embossed piece on them. And in order to make that stand out a little bit more, I want to do a little bit of sponging. So I'm going to use my sponging brush. I'm going to see if I have one that has blue ink on it. This one has green. I have found my blue one. So here we have it. And there's my Misty Moonlight ink pad underneath my trimmer. So this is just going to make it pop. Let me just move that out of the way. So just dab it on there. Start off the edge and just do this. It will also pick up on some of those raised dots. This one was embossed with the Dotty Hearts folder. So I was thinking, you know, wintertime, Valentine's Day, you can always send love. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. 
and cards sent in the winter don't have to be Christmas cards. So let's do this one. I love the, the, the look, take a look at the detail here. Isn't that so pretty? This one's called the Wintry 3D Embossing Folder. Both of these are in the annual catalog. So I'm thinking that perhaps Gerard was trying to call me to tell me that he was going to be late for lunch because it's almost lunchtime. So, yeah. There we go. Did you know that in Holland, in Schravezonde anyway, at 11 o'clock, the church bells toll. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Look how pretty that is now. The light isn't that great in here. No. Oh, goodness, he's not giving up. Okay. And I can't figure out how to turn my phone on Do, Do Not Disturb while I'm recording. So I'm hoping it's not an emergency. Look how pretty that is. You know what? I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to see if I can get better light. Okay, I think that light is a little bit better. You can see the detail now in the snowflakes. It's just really a stunning folder. When I saw it, I thought, oh, I don't need another snowflake folder. But when I saw this one with all the little dots in it and the pretty details, I thought, yeah, no, I really do need that. So let's put the other one on. And I'm actually feeling a little bit sorry for Gerard. Oh gosh, honey, no. Sorry. Yeah, and I'm not live, so he can't possibly see that I am recording. Um, yeah, things like that ever happen to you? Life is never simple, is it? But if I answer the call, then I have to start the video from the beginning, and I don't know how to piece videos together, so I'm not going to do that. Sorry, this is going to be the video from hell. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it. That one's on there. Now this one's, oh, he's just not going to stop. Junge, I'm in the middle of a video, so now you're videoing. I'm talking to you on video. I, I can't talk right now. Is there an emergency? Okay, yeah. All right, I'm hoping I'm still recording, but I'm not. All right, guys, you know what? It's This video is going to be in two parts. Um, that's just the way life happens sometimes, I guess. I'm going to see if I can, if I can, if I can get this to connect.